nice and sunny today. Uh, video is going to come out a little better. Today I have a surprise for you guys. It is a review of all three that I saw. Maybe there's another one I don't know about. All three enchilada meals from Amy's Organics. And I'm going to review them in the order that I ate them. So, the first one I ate I thought would be my least favorite, but it actually wasn't. And that is black bean vegetable enchilada. This was pretty good. The taste was like a nine. Um, very delicious. I can never give these a 10 just because they're too darn expensive. No one can afford to live off of these unless you're on a severe calorie restrictive diet. In which case, um, buy a couple of them and you'll lose 100 pounds in a month or two. But uh, it's only 330 calories in one box. A tray is 269 grams. So I'd say if they were, these were three to four dollars, they'd be a great deal, but they're not. They're five to six dollars. And it could just be the Biden economy. Um, so thank you, fake Biden, fake president. But uh, I do believe they were always more expensive than other brands. And part of this is because the ingredients, the ingredients just are more expensive. Basically, um, any ingredient that they can get organic, they will get organic. And certain things you just can't get organic, like salt, stuff like that. Filtered water obviously does not come in organic. So when I read the ingredients, it is filtered water, corn tortillas, this is all organic. Organic zucchini, tomato puree, organic tofu. Don't know where that is, somewhere in this. Black beans, corn, onions, safflower and or sunflower oil. Could be better, I don't really like seed oils. But what can you do, it's in everything. Sweet rice flour, organic bell peppers, spices, tapioca starch, olives, sea salt, garlic, green chilies and chives. So most of these also had organic in front of them, but for the sake of time, I did not specify that. There's only a few ingredients that did not have organic, like chives, salt, water, stuff like that. And the taste was great. Um, it did feel like, it did feel healthy like I was eating real food, if that makes sense. Sometimes um, I can feel malnourished if I'm not eating real food, I'm just eating processed stuff. Like you just eat a bunch of crackers or a highly processed meal, and then you eat something that you can tell is real food. Um, it's like your body just soaks it up, and that's what this is like. This is delicious. Um, it's not like a 10 out of 10 taste wise, but I'd say it's about a 9. It was really good. Um, Maybe an eight, an eight or a nine, depending. Um, I will, I'll be generous and give it a nine, but I still have to rate this an eight because it's not a good value. You're hardly getting any food, but it could just be that the dollar is not worth anything anymore, in which case I'd have to bump this up a little and give it an 8.5, possibly a nine. I'm not a big enchiladas person, but I decided to try every single different Amy's Organics meal and give a review on each of them because there's not going to be a Trader Joe's where I'm moving. So they'll probably carry these at least. And then the next one I tried was Amy's enchilada with Spanish rice and beans. And this is also organic. And I'm going to read you the ingredients. Oh, first, calories, 360, so you're getting a little bit more. It's 283 grams, so it's a little tiny bit bigger. And you might feel satiated after eating this. You might just want to have some cookies or chips with it you know, or a large soft drink, and then you won't be left feeling starving. So it's filtered water, organic rice, see, pinto beans, corn tortilla, tomato puree, corn, onion, zucchini, bell peppers, tofu, water, soybeans, black beans, high lake, safflower and or sunflower oil, meh. Um, Sweet rice flour, spices, sea salt, tapioca starch, olives, garlic, green chilies, and chives. And once again, almost everything is organic. There are just certain ingredients that you can't get organic. So I'd say the only ones on here that aren't are like spices, sea salt, olives, chives, filtered water. Everything else is pretty much organic. Now, this one um, actually was my least favorite. And it could possibly be a more authentic flavor, which I just don't prefer. Um, they probably have other meals that are not authentic, just have a more savory, delectable taste, which I prefer. Uh, this might, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's the flavor of this. It just wasn't as good to me. Um, it was still delicious, um, you know, but it was just kind of not like bland, but it doesn't want, it just wasn't like amazing tasting. 
if that makes sense. So I'd rate this one at like a seven. Yeah. I'd give it a seven because it had very good ingredients. It's kosher. It's gluten free. It's vegan, which I'm not a vegan, by the way. And that's not why I bought this. I bought this because it doesn't have GMOs in it, which I believe are a sin. Um, actually, they are a sin. Read your Bible. Read your Old Testament, people. Read your Quran. It's clearly a sin. So we don't have very many options. This is one of the few brands that we can buy and not be sinning to eat. At least I hope not. And still pray to remove any dedications to other than God. Remember, GMOs are not only hybridization of species, which is a sin, but they're also dedicated to other than God. And they're a patent involved with every single genetically modified ingredient. So basically, just the taste of this one, it just wasn't quite as good. But this may very well be authentic Mexican food. I've never been to Mexico. I've never eaten handmade Mexican food. I'm more of like a Taco Bell person, which is why um, I prefer I prefer their other meals. But I can't eat Taco Bell. I sure wish they would make organic Taco Bell. I would be like their number one customer. Um, but yeah, this was still pretty good. You know, but for being like corn and beans heavy, I do think it should be cheaper. These meals really should cost between three and four dollars. And I think they would sell a lot more uh, but with the price of things these days, um, this could be this could be a fair price. Um, thank you, fake Biden, fake president. Um, you know, the dollar gets you about 25% of what it used to. Then um, I'm going to review the last one here, which is um, the cheese, the cheese enchilada. And this one was my absolute favorite. This one was super delicious. I just ate this one, actually. So I ate all these within a 24 hour span so I could give you an accurate review. Um, this one, um, 490 calories, better deal. You're getting more, well actually it's 255 grams, so it's actually less. You're getting less product, you're getting more calories. Um, you're getting more cheese and you're getting a better taste. So to me, this is worth it. This is super delicious. I was surprised at how good this was. It has like the spices and the cheese flavor that reminds me of Taco Bell and it's organic. I mean Taco Bell does taste good, I just can't eat it. I mean it's been like more than 10 years since I've had Taco Bell, I started eating organic. I still remember what it tastes like. And this has a lot of that flavor in it. So I highly suggest anyone that likes Taco Bell but has now switched over to eating organic, try the cheese enchiladas. Um, the ingredients are filtered water, organic corn tortillas, um, Monterey Jack cheese, yeah, a lot of cheese, then white cheddar cheese, organic onions, tomato puree, olive, sweet rice flour, safflower and or sunflower oil, green chili spices, bell peppers, cheddar cheese, okay, sea salt, and organic onion. Most of the ingredients in this are organic. Everything they can get organic, they do source, and it is on the back. There are many different types of cheese used in this to get just the right flavor, and it tastes good. It's very delicious, very delectable. I'm definitely going to be picking these up again. I'll just have to like ration between eating plain rice and eating these so that I can afford to eat, I, I suppose, because um, it's just not affordable. Six bucks for this? I mean, you'd have to be buying like four of these. So six, twelve, twenty, twenty-five dollars a day. I can't afford that. You know, it's just not very big, but it's delicious. So I guess if you made this and then you made a bunch of rice and then the rice was about a dollar and then you ate two of these, six, twelve, thirteen, okay, maybe that's reasonable. Uh, but rice really isn't good for you and there's already rice in this. You get my point. The taste is spot on. The taste is delicious. Maybe other people spend more money on food than I do. I've always been like a penny pincher and I have a budget. Basically, I'm going from being a stay-at-home mom. I have no job. I just make some sales here and there in my store. So I don't have a bunch of money to spend on food. I'm hoping to get some subscribers. Maybe I can earn a few pennies from this <laughs> from this video one day. But um, it's very delicious. It's very good. So the three that I tried were Amy's Organics Enchilada with Spanish Rice and Beans. Amy's Organics Enchilada Black Bean Vegetable and the cheese, the cheese enchilada. So number one, best one, cheese enchilada just in terms of taste. It's a little smaller, it's got more energy in it, it's got many different cheeses, it's got that taste that you love. I mean that I love. Okay, um, 
Then this is the next good. Um, the black bean vegetable. It also has a good taste. It's not as good as the cheese enchilada, but it is very delicious. Um, the cheese one is not vegan. So I guess if you're vegan, you can eat this one, which is just slightly less delicious. I dock it a point. And then the one that I thought was meh, you know, it was okay, I guess, was this Spanish rice and beans. So they say Spanish and rice and beans, so it's probably an authentic flavor. It's probably how it's supposed to taste. You know, it's just not as good to me as the more modern Americanized ones. So all of them worth a buy. Um, I do think uh, you're getting your money's worth in terms of calories if you get the cheese enchilada and let's see which one has the most and the spanish one has the most weight but you know you might want to try all three um, if you're vegan you cannot get the cheese one and i don't know if the, i can't tell these are vegan it's just like a regular taco it's a regular enchilada so I would suggest anyone try them. You might be surprised. There might be a new favorite meal out there that you've never had before, and that's what I'm doing. There's not gonna be any more Trader Joe's when I move. It's gonna break my heart. But I did find out that I like cheese enchiladas from Amy's Organic, so, you know, it's not all a loss. Thanks for listening.